right, and welcome to this episode of Adventures in Firefighting. Today, we're coming to you from the Dispatch Center at MPD Headquarters. I've got Seth Russell here with me. What is your exact title, Seth? Uh, I oversee the 911 Communications Center, so I'm the, uh, the Manager Director for the Center. Okay, great. Can you tell our viewers, um, can you kind of give them a 360 degree overview of Dispatch? Very much. Um, we do all the uh, calls for service for the City of Murfreesboro, that's police and fire. Uh, we do about 210,000 uh, calls, uh, both 911 emergency and non-emergency calls uh, within the city limits. Wow. And out of those, uh, about uh, 16 to 17,000 calls for services, the Murfreesboro Fire Department, uh, and the remaining is the Murfreesboro Police Department. Okay, great. And um, exactly what does it take to be a dispatcher? Uh, we do have an extensive training program, which we'll uh, explain later on the show, um, but we do have a progressive training program that goes into, um, that provides training from off the street, um, and we can, um, uh, the first step in the process is to handle the call. The calls come in here, uh, approximately it takes about 30 seconds to a minute and a half to process the call. Uh, towards the later half of that, that goes into the dispatch queue, uh, and the second person in the room is dispatching that fire call off a separate console uh, to expedite uh, the response of the North Bureau Fire Department. So everything works pretty fast. That's how we can um, decrease our response times is yeah. when you guys are on the ball. Yeah. So can we hear from maybe one of your training personnel? Yes, we can. All right. uh, uh, Courtney Drake is our training coordinator and she will can explain uh, the training program in detail. Okay, great. Thank you, Seth. Thank you. So I'm here with Courtney Drake. She's one of the communications training coordinators. First of all, love the shirt. Repping for the Murfreesboro Police and Fire Department. That's right. That's right. Fire specifically, right? <laughs> uh, just tell us a little bit about the training program that you guys provide here for these new dispatchers. Sure, Ashley. Our training program consist of uh, several phases. We go through a three-week orientation phase where they come in, they learn calls for services, how to talk to callers, questions to ask, and then we go through 400 hours of on-the-floor training time just for call taking. So that's answering your emergency calls and your non-emergency calls and learning how to process those calls into the computer, helping callers with um, anything you can think of. Um, then we, they go to um, what's called an independent phase where they sit by themselves for four months and they're just taking calls of uh, emergency and non-emergency calls and then they'll have a hundred hours of fire radio where they learn how to um, dispatch fire calls and the medical calls that go along with that. Okay, great. And you know, we had this conversation off camera. It takes a very special person to be a dispatcher. I know that I personally couldn't do it. Could you tell us kind of some of the personality traits that go along with the position? Sure. A dispatcher is definitely a very special person. Um, they have to be able to type. Definitely a lot of multitasking with listening to callers and typing at the same time. It takes to be a critical thinker. have to be able to Absolutely. think critically. Um, also, judgment, good judgment, decision making skills. Yeah, I, I think I would be on the call being just as emotional as the person on the other end of the line, and that's why I think I couldn't, I wouldn't be a good yeah. dispatcher. A dispatcher would definitely have to know how to handle stress and be able to remain calm. We are that calm voice. Absolutely. Um, on the radio and the phones. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. It's a team effort when fire rescue and police respond to a situation, and the first line of that response starts with the hardworking and dedicated staff of the 911 Communications Center. Whether it's a house fire, medical emergency, or an incident requiring technical rescue, MFRD depends on the timely and efficient information provided by our 911 operators. We can't thank them enough for their commitment to public safety. 